Ben Watson, the man at the centre of corruption allegations involving the company Bosasa, has died. We're joined on the line now by Bosasa's former CEO, Angelo Agritzi. You'll remember him as being one of the people who've implicated Watson in allegations of state capture at the inquiry. Uh, Mr. Agritzi, afternoon to you. Thank you for your time. So let's begin with your reaction to news of Gavin Watson's passing. Good afternoon to you and your listeners. I think it's very sad. I mean, it's tragic for any family. One must never forget that he was still a father to some, grandfather, and he was a husband to someone's wife. So to, my, to the Watsons, you know, my sincerest condolences. Uh, you mentioned the fact that beyond the headlines and the controversies around his name, Gavin Watson was a loved one to a group of people, but his passing, and I'm sure you've seen this, has stirred up a great deal of conspiracy theories and speculation, especially online. Are you among the people who believe that there was a sinister angle to the news today? You know, you know, I'm going to put it very bluntly to you, is that quite simply, I don't think this is the time or the place. The family's grieving, and I honestly believe, you know, anybody who's got theories and that should keep them to themselves. And let's rather just let the family grieve. At the end of the day, there's still a human being that passed away. And there are people grieving. So I really don't want to comment on that. All right. And you did work with Gavin Watson quite closely at a point. Have you been in touch with the family? No, I have not. Let me ask you then about, as I was saying in the introduction, that you did implicate him in a great deal of alleged corruption when you appeared at the state capture inquiry. Do you believe then that Gavin Watson's passing has robbed us of an opportunity to unearth some of the truth about those allegations? I'm not going to comment on that. As I said, I think it's a time where we should respect that the family needs to mourn and, and needs to, to deal with the matter. It's tragic. All right, Angelo Grizzi, former Bosasa COO, thank you.